Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to apply minoxidil to your scalp. I have a lot of patients who ask me what's the best way of doing it, particularly women, because women normally have longer hair than guys do, and the minoxidil, as great as it is, can be a little bit tough to apply because it has a little bit of an oily characteristic to it, so it can make the hair heavy. So I wanted to record this quick video just to give you some tips on how to use it. Minoxidil is very effective to treat hair loss. Uh, so if you can find a way to use it and that you can fit in your lifestyle and your routine, it will greatly help you. So the way that I recommend to use for women is to use the 5% minoxidil first of all. It used to be that minoxidil or Rogaine, which is the old brand, minoxidil is a generic for Rogaine. Rogaine is available as a women's formulation, which is a 2% concentration. Don't know if the camera can get it. And also there's the men's concentration, which is 5%. Nowadays we have the women's 5% as well. What happened is a few years ago, we found out through experience that the 2% was very weak and it wasn't giving anybody any results. So we started recommending that women use the 5% as well, just like men do. Difference is 5% uh, for men, we use it twice a day. And then for women only once a day, so you don't get facial hair. That's usually the most common uh, side effect from minoxidil for women. Also, um, some itching and irritation, so there's ways also to avoid that or to prevent it. But to avoid the facial hair growth, use the 5% only once a day. And when you apply it, use gloves as well. If you don't have the gloves, you can do, uh, make sure that you wash your hair, I mean, wash your hands, rather, sorry, very well after you apply it. Because if you touch your hair with the minoxidil and you touch your face, that's when you start getting uh, facial growth. Okay. So the way that I tell women to apply, particularly women with longer hair, is to wear some gloves, get a comb, in this case I'm going to use a sterile comb, obviously you don't need to, and so I have Lanise here who graciously volunteered to be the <laughs> guinea pig today. So what you do is, with the longer hair, the problem with the product, like I said, it tends to be greasy and oily, so you don't want to get it all over the hair if you can avoid it. To make sure that it gets to the scalp where it's really needed, you would part your hair down the center, like so. Hair loss in women, a lot of women have thinning that is, that is diffuse. It happens from the front, the middle, to the back. It can vary. Some women have more thinning to the crown area. Invariably, women notice that their hair is getting thinner around the temples too, almost like a recession that men have. Women have that too. So I'm gonna to tell you to apply minoxidil everywhere. Temples, frontal scalp, mid scalp, and crown. On the bottle, it will say that the minoxidil is only recommended for the crown area. The reason for that is because when they did their FDA approval uh, submission years ago, minoxidil used to be just a prescription, or Rogan used to be just a prescription product. It's now available as generic and it has for years, but when they did their FDA testing back, then, back in the day, they only tested the crown area. So for legal reasons, they cannot tell you that you can apply in the middle and the front because it wasn't studied, but through experience, we know they actually work. So make sure you apply to everywhere, okay? Of course, you're not, if you're not having hair loss in the front, if you're only having a little bit in the crown, you can you know, concentrate there or vice versa, but otherwise, apply it everywhere. So do the part. There's two ways you can get minoxidil or Rogaine. Foam, which is obviously a foaming agent or foaming pump, and you can get it as liquid. The liquid comes with a dropper and a sprayer. The sprayer you can just toss it in the garbage because it doesn't, it's not the best way to apply. It's gonna get a lot of the product in your hair. So if you need to use, use the dropper. But better yet, use a Q-tip like I'm gonna show you. The foam, it comes out as a foam in your hand and it starts to melt with body heat. A lot of the dermatological uh, products or prescriptions for hair use a foam vehicle of delivery because the, the principle behind it is that you want the product right into your scalp. You don't want it in your hair shaft. It's not doing anything if it stays here. You want it to apply to the scalp. So the foam, as it melts with the body heat, it will actually sit down on the skin and it will be where it needs to be instead of just floating in the hair. So that's the principle behind it. The minoxidil or Rogaine foam has less alcohol. It's a little less greasy than the solution. So it might be a better product for some, may not be for others. So whatever one you decide, they both do the same thing. So let's start with the liquid or the foam. I use the Q-tip to the foam as well. Dip the Q-tip into your foam or liquid or squirt a little bit of the foam in the Q-tip. And what you do is once you part, you just run it across the part side, okay? Get it all in there. Make sure you get, you know, three or four passes until your Q-tip is dry. 
throw that away, get another Q-tip so you don't contaminate the liquid inside. Get your hair, part it a little bit to the side of that center part. Like that. Dip it inside the solution and then rub it on the skin here. So you're applying right where it needs to be and the product will, dis will uh, dissolve a little bit into the skin so it will spread from that area too. So you, you will reach these in between areas as well just by uh, the diffusion that it has. So apply it there and then do another part here. Go as far as you need to go and then vice versa on the other side. Go ahead and do that. So with that system you use very little product so you can save product and you don't get it all over the hair. For the temples, just lift like this, get the Q-tip, and then rub it so you can really dial into where you need it. You don't have to mess it up and have it all running down on you. Same thing on the other side. Rub it with the Q-tip, nice and wet with the minoxidil. Rub it in there. It'll, it'll dry very quickly. You may find that it stings a little bit, that it can cause a little redness. If that's the case, use it every other day versus every day. That should take care of it. Um, if you have already oily hair to begin with, it might be a problem for you to apply this every day because you, you're going to find yourself washing your hair every day, which some women don't like to do. Um, which is a myth, by the way. Washing hair does not hurt hair. That's a thing. For, that's a, a, a theme for another video we're going to publish. But for right now, if it's if it's making your hair so greasy that you find that you have to wash more often, then what you do is let's say you wash your hair tomorrow morning is your wash day. Put it on tonight, sleep with the minoxidil on your scalp overnight and the next morning you can wash it and then don't apply until you wash it again or the night before you wash it again. That way you're using it maybe every other day or twice a week or whatever. It's still helpful but ideal dose is every day. So I hope this was helpful. We will see you next time in the next video. You know in the meantime, thank you and we'll see you again.